with our treasure home and welcome back to the channel we're on 100 days of favor with joseph prince and this is day 12. start your day with jesus today's scripture it is good to give thanks to the lord and to sing praises to your name almost high to declare your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night psalms 92 1 through 2. <clears throat> and before i go on I know we know Psalms 91, Psalms 92, this will blow your mind out of the water because in a way it's just like, it's like Psalms 91 and Psalms 1 and a whole bunch of other Psalms all wrapped up in Psalms 92. So if you haven't read Psalms 92, I, I, I suggest you go read it because it's, it's just like all the goodness wrapped up in one. So do you know that God has promised that no weapon formed against you shall prosper? Isaiah 54, 17. Now, he did not promise that weapons would not form against you. He promised that even if weapons formed against you, they would not hurt or defeat you. Amen. <clears throat> there are all kinds of weapons formed against humanity, especially in the last days. These last days. Just think of the many kinds of deadly viruses, sicknesses, and diseases in the world. When you turn on the television and watch the news, all you seem to hear about wars, unrest, disasters, financial collapse, violence, unemployment, famines, and new strains of deadly viruses. Don't watch the news. It is amazing how many people wake up in the morning and the first thing they do is to grab the newspapers and read bad news before heading to work. Then just before going to bed, they watch the news. Now, please understand, I am not against reading the newspaper or watching the news, or watching television for that matter. But I want to encourage you to start your day with Jesus instead. Practicing his presence, acknowledging him, committing your plans to him, and trusting him for his unmerited favor, wisdom, and strength for the day. Remember to be like Joseph in the Bible. The Lord was with Joseph, and he was a successful man. Your success does not come as a result of your being updated about the latest virus or your being cued into the latest disaster. No, your success will come as a result of being tuned in to the presence of Jesus in your life. There are many people in my church who start the day each morning by partaking of the Holy Communion. Not as a ritual, but as a time to remember Jesus and the power of the cross, of his cross. They took, they looked to Jesus for his strength, receiving his divine life. For his strength, receiving his divine life for their physical bodies as they partake of the bread. They renew their consciousness of their free, of their free gift of righteousness purchased by the blood of Jesus on the cross as they partake of the cup. What a way to start the day. I have also come to realize that the last stop before you go to bed to sleep is very important. I have tried this before, and you can try it too. Go to bed thinking about Jesus, giving thanks to him for the day. You can also meditate on one of his promises, such as the one found in Isaiah 54, 17. Just say, Thank you, Father. Your word declares that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Most times I wake up feelings rejuvenated, energized, and refreshed, even though I did not sleep for many hours. Conversely, if I go to bed with what I've just heard on the news, swirling in my mind, I could sleep for many more hours than usual, but still wake up feeling fatigued. Sometimes I even get a headache. Have you been there before? Well, you don't have to experience that again. Sandwich your day with the presence of Jesus. Start your day with him. Enjoy him during the day. And end the day with him on your mind. <clears throat> Today's prayer. Lord Jesus, thank you for your presence with me today. Help me to be more conscious of your unmerited favor toward me than I had than a bad news that people are Concern about. Today I commit all my plans to you 
Knowing that you are married to favor, wisdom, and strength are always with me to protect me and give me good success. In Jesus' name, amen. Today's thought, I am going to sandwich my day with the presence of Jesus. And that reminds me of the little children's song that we used to sing in children's church. Um, <clears throat> So say a prayer in the morning, say a prayer at noontime, say a prayer in the evening to keep your heart in tune. And it says, uh, there's a couple other verses to it, but then Jesus may come in the morning, Jesus may come in the noontime, Jesus may come in the evening. So keep your heart in tune. So, you know, there's a purpose for that. So I hope y'all are enjoying the, the series. And if you haven't liked, subscribing, and bell for notifications. And we'll see you next time on our treasure home.